world it's your boy big chips listen today we're talking about the 80 20 rule again i talked about it a little bit yesterday but there's a couple of uh, 80 20s i want you to realize i want you to see things in a different way you know they say 80 percent is the why to 20 percent is the how to and kind of like what i mentioned in my brief little thing yesterday is you can know how to do something and still not do a daggum thing so that's kind of you know like your eye opener but uh you know one thing i wanted to really talk about today though because it's been talked about a whole bunch here the past couple of days with a couple of people i know and things they've said to me and questions that have been asked and that's the 80 20 rule of when you're talking to somebody you know and here's the deal on that when you are talking to somebody, it should be 80% them talking, 20% you talking. And I think a lot of people don't, don't think about that. I don't know why, but simply because they want to over talk or they get into the cell and like the person's ready to buy right now, but they feel like they've got to give some kind of presentation or something. I, I'm not really certain what the deal is with that, that situation. I don't know what the number is on that one. But when you get into a conversation and you are you are about to make a sale, you know you are about to fail when you, my friend, are talking more than 20% of the time. You know, the thing of it is, is people want to try to sell people. They want to try to be the one that's saying whatever that's... I don't even really know, to tell you the truth. They just feel like they need to be the one who keeps talking, you know, to over talk that person. And the problem of it is, is when you over talk somebody, you don't listen. You're not hearing what their, what their issue is, where they're struggling, uh, what their pain is, so you know what to hurt. So it's one of those situations where you really have to learn to shut up. Ask the questions that are important and shut up and get the answer. That's, I mean, I, I couldn't even say it any better than that, my friends. Honestly, because it's, it's just one of those things where if you do not listen to what they're saying and what their hurt is and what their pain is, then you might as well not even be talking to them. You shouldn't be on the phone. You shouldn't be face to face. You shouldn't be doing what you're doing. You know, so take this note of 80-20. There's a lot of these little 80-20 rules, and I'll, I'm going to go over a bunch of them here in the next couple of weeks, but 80-20 rule today, you know, we're going to do the two, all right? We're going to do the 80% why to, why should you be doing it, to 20% how to. You know, how to, even if you knew how, doesn't mean you're going to do anything. You know, this is all about integrity. It's all about being someone that wants to help people. You know, the 80-20 rule of 80% they talk to 20% you talk. You know, let the prospect, let the customer, the consumer, the friend, whatever you want to call them, whatever you do call them, let them do the talking. You know, if they've got an objection, let them talk it out. You know, align with them, whatever the case may be, to allow them to overtalk themselves on the objection. You know, so that's about it. All right. So it's your boy Big Chips with businesschips.com, the Diamond Dream Team, and wake up now, baby. Because it's time to wake up the world. You know, as Eric Worre says, network marketing, you know, it, it's not, oh my God, I don't know, man. I just, the more I sit back and think about, all these things it's not the easiest thing in the world to do but it's probably the best thing i've ever done in my life so wake them up get with the plan and learn how to network my friends all right so make it a great day i dare you